What is Curb Appeal? With Caleb Bondarenko. Curb Appeal is how attractive and inviting a home is when it's viewed from the street. This can also be thought of as the first impression of a home. Remember the saying, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Now that we have an idea of what curb appeal is, we can evaluate your home's curb appeal and discover some ways that it may be improved. Landscaping. Make sure the yard is trimmed and weeds are pulled. If there are bare spots in the grass, consider putting down seed or sod. Edge along where the grass meets the driveway and sidewalk. Trim the trees, shrubs, and bushes. Use mulch or decorative stones in the flower beds and around the trees. Steps and front porch. At a minimum, fix any broken steps or hand railings. Use paint or stain where necessary. Reduce any clutter on the porch and remove any old or worn out furniture. Make sure your porch lights work. How about some modern house numbers? Front door. Paint the front door or replace it if it's too old. If the handle is worn out, buy a new one. If you have a screen door, make sure that it is also in good shape. Clean the sill or threshold and put down a new welcome mat. Windows. Clean the windows and replace any broken windows. Sometimes the seals will get damaged and it can cause the window to get moisture and dirt on the inside. You want to get those fixed. Look at the window trim. Could it use a new paint job? Other curb appeal boosters would be to add or replace window shutters or even window planters. Speaking of planters, next up is plants and flowers. This can be a quick and inexpensive way to boost your home's curb appeal. If you don't know what types or what colors to choose, then take a picture of the front of your home and go to your local flower nursery and ask for some suggestions. You can also look up a color wheel and see how different colors complement each other. Siding and trim. Over the years, siding and trim is going to get dirty, mildew can appear, Pieces will get dented, damaged, and some may end up missing. You are going to want to have it all cleaned and also repair those damaged or missing pieces. If it is too faded, you may want to consider painting the front of the home. Garage door. When a home has an attached garage that faces the street, your garage door can be a big percentage of the home's curb appeal. At a minimum, you will want to clean the door and you might need to paint the door and trim. In some cases, you will want to replace the door completely with the more modern looking garage door. If that's not in the budget, consider adding accessories like faux windows and faux hinges. Outdoor lighting. Update existing fixtures with modern lighting fixtures. Also consider adding up lighting to emphasize the architecture of the home and pathway lighting to help direct those potential buyers to the front door of your home. Roof and gutters. Remove any tree branches or piles of leaves that may have collected on the roof and gutters. Make sure they are clean and repair any damaged gutters or downspouts. Weeds growing out of the gutters will lower your home's curb appeal. Driveway and sidewalks. Make sure they are clean and there are no obstructions. If you have uneven surfaces, you will want to get those taken care of. Since there are many different types, for example, concrete, asphalt, pavers, gravel, they will need to be fixed according to their type. Other things to consider are picking up any toys, rakes, shovels, hoses, etc. You will not want anything left out when a potential buyer comes by for that all important first impression. If you liked this video, please click the like button. And if you would like to be notified about more videos in the future, please subscribe to this channel. Also feel free to comment or message me with any questions you may have. 
Thank you for watching. I hope this video gives you some ideas on how to boost your home's curb appeal.